I'm Michelle Phillips, a Google for Education Certified Trainer, and in this video we're going to look at the Google Classroom skills needed to do well on the Google Educator exams. In Level 1, we're going to look at creating classrooms, adding students, creating assignments and announcements, adding links, videos, and files, private and group messaging, and making copies of assignments for each student. You'll click on the plus sign when you go to Google Classroom and then click Create Class. To add or invite students to your class, you'll go to the Students tab. You can then click Invite Students and then you can search for every one of your students and add them that way. Or you can give them the class code. To create an assignment, you'll have to go to the Stream tab. And then you'll want to hover over the plus sign in the bottom right and you can create announcements, assignments, questions, or reuse a previous post. To create an assignment, you'll then choose which classes you're going to assign it to. You can choose more than one at a time. Add a title. You can give instructions. You can add a due date. You can even assign topics to different assignments. You can then attach a file from your computer you can attach a file in your Google Drive, you can attach a YouTube video, or insert links. Once you add a file to your assignment, then you have the different options of letting students view the same file, letting students edit the same file, or making a copy for every student. You can assign it right away, or you can choose to schedule it for later or save it as a draft. To view a specific assignment, you will click on the title, and then you can see students that are done and not done. If you click on a specific student, you can then add a private comment that goes just to that student. To add a class comment to the assignment, you'll see that down here at the bottom. In the Students tab, you can create a discussion area. You can choose whether students can post and comment. Students can only comment on your posts, or only the teacher can post or comment. So in level one, we've learned how to create a classroom, add and invite your students, create assignments and announcements and questions, add links, videos, and files, private and group messages, and how to make copies of assignments for each student. In level two, we're going to take a look at the About section, how to change the theme, how to manage the stream, setting up your classes to differentiate, or resetting your class code. In the About section of your Google Classroom, this is where you can see your calendar. You can view it in Classroom, or you can open it in Google Calendar, which then you can get the embed code to put on your website. You can access the Google Drive folder for this classroom. You can also add class materials or invite co-teachers. To edit the theme, just go to the top right and click Select Theme or upload your own photo. To manage the classroom theme, you can look at View All That Are Due Soon. You can just look at the ones that are due soon. Your save posts are at the top. You can then click the More Actions on an assignment and move it to the top, edit it, delete it, or copy the link. You can also choose whether or not you show deleted items in your stream and you can also select on specific topics. To reset your class code, go to the Students tab, and under Class Code, you can either reset it or disable it. One way to differentiate in your classroom is to create different Google Classrooms for the same class, and then ha have students join the classroom with the assignments you want them to work on. In Level 2, we've looked at the About section, changing your theme, managing the stream, setting up your classes to differentiate, and how to reset your class code. For more tips or tutorials, go to my website, edtechinaction.com.